Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brox. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Jesus te llama querida. We got vocabulary coming up for you in about 18, 19 minutes from now. We got my uh, ministry minutes in the last um, 15 minutes of this segment. Yeah, I almost said my piece. <laughs> but it's just ministry minutes. Not my ministry minutes, it's ministry minutes. Get some scriptures on up in there and try and expound on it, teach a lesson, be taught a lesson by the Word of God. Amen, amen. Jesus loves you. For sure. Has been checking out the uh, U.S. Africa Summit. Uh, check out uh, acawmedia.com. I put up um, some um, stories on it from yesterday. It started uh, yesterday. Well, it, August 1st was the one they did one on faith and how uh, faith leaders have an effect on um, on the on I guess economic systems. Uh, and how faith leaders are leading the way uh, when it comes to building up uh, cities and countries. So, uh, thank you for you leaders that are, you uh, faith leaders that are listening to Jesus. Now, I gotta, uh, I gotta say that not all, um, I don't believe all of them are Christians. I didn't check to see the names or nothing. But, um, if you guys, well, anyway. I can't speak to any other faith. I only know Christianity. I only know Jesus. I'm not really willing. I'm not willing to know another so-called God. <laughs> but I respect people's choices to choose whomever they like, whomever they want. I, I'll never tell you, don't do that for X, Y, Z, because blah, blah. No, I'm going to just tell you the truth. Now, I choose not. I have never chosen to worship some other God. Have I asked people about their God? Yeah. Do I, is it a, do I tell you that it's a good choice to choose Jesus? Yeah. But I'm not going to force you to choose Jesus. So, uh, hopefully I never say something like, well, actually, I, I, hold on, I do apologize. Street evangelism, we do, we, you do tell people, you know, there is no other God but the Lord. That's in the Bible. So, yeah. Uh, but there is no other God. <laughs> you can't find an origin to those dudes. Or if you find an origin, you know that it's man-made. But anyway, I still give people their right to choose. Because uh, if you don't give people free will, then you've lost them completely. So you give people free will to choose. If they choose wrong, pray for them. And let God do his thing. What? You gonna let people choose the wrong thing? Yup, sure will. I, if somebody, if I was to present the gospel to somebody, they tell me, "No, I want to worship X, Y, Z." I'd be like, "Okay, no problem. I've done that before. Okay, no problem. I ain't got to You have the free will to choose wrong. That's the truth. Jesus is the same way. Look how he was talking to Nicodemus in chapter three. He basically told them, you have a free will to choose wrong. The word is before you. You don't even believe. How am I going to tell you something about heaven? You don't even believe the word is before you now. You have the free will to choose wrong. <laughs> like you, you don't even believe now. Why do you want to know about all that other stuff? So you'll believe. You won't even believe what's in front of you. So you have the free will to choose wrong. Telling Nicodemus, you have the free will to not believe me. Um, it's not right, but... You're choosing to not believe, so I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have it. I'm gonna let you stay right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, read the Bible, Jesus. Oh my goodness, 
Jesus has a mouth on him, and he does it in love. <laughs> I, he, he just presents to you your argument, and then asks you to think about it. That it trips, it just trips me out. Listen to read, read the whole Bible, or read, or just pull out the segment, the sections where it's Jesus talking directly to the people, or Jehovah is talking directly to the people. He'll present their argument to them. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and we're able to laugh at it because we're the, we're like a third party. We're look we're like getting an insight. We look at like this uh, movie camera that we can look and go, dude, you don't see the truth right there, man. It's kind of like yelling at a screen. <laughs> like you don't see? How do you not see that? <laughs> anyway, uh, God is so funny. He presents your arguments back to you and go, mm, now let me tell you the truth. <laughs> He'll give you the truth, present your argument to you, and give you the truth. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm done laughing at that. I'm just, and God is so good. <laughs> Cracks me up. I love that. Amen. Alright, so uh, <laughs> we got cell block. Amen. If they only knew. Amen. Want to check him out on Facebook. His name is actually spelled C E L L B L O K. Check him out on Facebook, Twitter, Reverb Nation. Turn the temple to a marketplace. Same guys that would claim they had the hardest faith. This well after they first started hate. Lord, I see now why your countenance departed face. Grab some cords, made a scourge and extended heat. Cast them out with the ox, doves, and a sheep. Overturning table, scared they on bended knees. You done turned my father's house into a den of thieves. Uh, this was supposed to be devotion hour. He was preaching in the temple and promoting power. Telling us we can obtain it if we open our hearts. Heal the sick, causing the commotion louder. Cry Hosanna to the son of David. Even children felt the spirit and they started praising. But the Pharisees and Sadducees were sore displeased. They set them up to be obliterated. If they only knew. beginning was the word, and the word was all blessed, and the word was with God, then the word was made flesh, in the garden of Gethsemane, took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, keep watch, I need y'all to peep, but when he came back to him, they was all asleep, Jesus said you couldn't watch for me one hour, they ain't understand, situation getting sour, they ain't understand, Judas coming with a crowd, men with swords, Peter proved that he wasn't coward, struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear, Jesus felt the need to teach, live by the sword, die from it, I want peace, cause I could call to legion angels if I wanted be. But how would the scriptures be fulfilled? So go and let them do it. I'm a chill. Together they was unified, and the son of man was seized and crucified. If they only knew. If they only knew. If they only knew. In the beginning was the word, and the word was all blessed. And the world was with God. Then the world was made flesh. Faith in God is the foundation of our house of Christianity. Without God, our house will fall. The fact of
Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15 second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. All right, it's about that time for the vocabulary phrase of the day. And it is this God is love. The truth is Jesus. Have faith in God. That's right. Three, four, hit you, hit you, hit you. <laughs> God is love. The truth is Jesus. Have faith in God. 
In Spanish, it's Dios, es amor, la verdad, es Jesús, tiene fe en Dios. Otra vez, Dios es amor, la verdad, es Jesús, tiene fe en Dios. Amen. God is love, the truth is Jesus, have faith in God. Amen. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. We have more music coming up for you. Here's one by Floatly J, and it's goodbye. TMG is so musical. Damn, damn. I should have spent more time. Spent more time. Damn. damn. Memories all we have. We mourn till we meet again So hard to let go While memories fading away I think about you every day since 99 Before then you was loving life Reminiscing your smiles Love the way how you lit up the room It was worthwhile We miss ya And I know it wasn't your time to go Cause you had more time to grow As the days come and go Is done, and I count my sins. 
I'll be standing on a cloud yelling loud Having doubts shouting please just let me in And when the judgment comes The wise men they say Pack your bags and just soul head it south To a party in a much much warmer place I tried to be a good man Because my father he told me so He said your name is your word Your word is your name Just dust the dirt off your shoulder and no Cause you're not alone You got the juice to make it happen Quit your junk, quit your slack Cause it's time to get up And it's time to go Much warmer place when my life is done and I count my sins. I'll be standing on the cloud, yelling loud, having doubt, shouting, Please just let me in. And when the judgment comes, the wise men they say, Pack your bags and your soul, head it out to a party in a much, much warmer place.
Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Amen, 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 y'all. It's about the time for Ministry Minute. Woo! I should create a whistle for that, right? <laughs> All right, so I was telling you earlier before that we have a free choice, free choice of salvation, a free choice to continue to live in sin. God gives you a free choice, either one. Salvation is free. So it's every choice that you make. Amen. God give you free will. Here's a good example. Everybody knows Abraham. Christians know, know Abraham. Muslims know Abraham. Baha'i people, people that tie that red string around their hand, Jews, everybody know Abraham. So Abraham is a safe bet. If I said some other name, Melchizedek or something like that, maybe the Jews would know, but maybe the other people would know. Abraham and his wife Sarah, everybody knows them. It's Adam and Eve and Abraham and Sarah. In chapter 15 of Genesis, uh, God called Abraham faithful. When we read, it says on um, verse 1, After these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord, God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is Elizer of Damascus? And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he shall come forth out of thine own bowels, shall be thine heir. Right? And he brought him forth, uh, he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed, meaning Abram, Believed in the Lord and, it, and uh, God count and He counted it to him for righteousness. God counted it to him for righteousness. Right now, Abram received this blessing. He received the word straight from God. Right, so he all pumped up. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gotta take my servant's heir and bless him. I can bless my own. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's all now. That's right. Yes. I got me an heir. Don't know when it's coming, but God said I'm going to have as many heirs as there are stars in the sky. That's right. Coming from my seed, my loins. Cool. Abraham, cool, right? Till we get to chapter 16. Chapter 16. Now Sarah, Abram's wife, bare him no children, and she, and she had a, maid, uh, a handmaid. An Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarah. And Sarai, uh, Sarai Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram, that dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. Alrighty. Now, they both screwed up. You're like, well, why didn't God stop them? Abram already had the word. Abram should have stopped it. He's the head of the house. He should have stopped it. Now, is, was Sarah wrong? Sarah was unfaithful. She knew about it too. She should not have done it. They both made conscious choices to do wrong. Did God let them do it? Yeah. Because he had already told them what he was going to do. But they let unbelief creep in and hide what God had already told them. See, when God gives us the truth, we got to believe it. Even though things don't look right, things don't seem like, man, when is it going to come? When is it going to happen? Come on, I'm already a hundred. Shoo. <laughs> Man, 
and some of our cases back. I'm 30 years old. I ain't, man, I don't own a house. I don't own a car, nothing. I ain't got no job. I'm 40 years old. I'm still doing X, Y, Z. I ain't got nothing. Or I got all the money I need, but I can't find the right person. I guess I'll just marry that one over there because I really want a kid. Or I'll just adopt because I really want a kid. Or I really want this, I'll do this. And all of it's outside of what God told you. He'll let you make that mistake. He'll have to come in and correct it. But he already gave you what he, he already told you what he was going to do. So you got to stand in faith and hold on to it. And don't do like Abram and Sarai. Don't go, oh well, God ain't moving fast enough, so here, take my handmaiden. And you know the handmaid was like, yeah, all right, all right. I'm rich now, I'm rich now. Hey, I got the only heir, only heir for Abram. Hey, only heir. So you know she was rubbing that in. What a... Please, I'm the wife of Abram. Now, I ain't got to do nothing you say. Forget you. <laughs> you know she had an attitude after that, right? And what could Sarah say? What could she say? You were the one that gave the man the woman in the first place. You didn't listen to God. You didn't believe what God had said. He said he was going to give Abram uh, 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 heir from his loins. And he told you, he even sent the angels to Sarah saying, Hey, you're gonna have his son. You gonna have his you gonna bear his heir. They should have listened, but they didn't. God fixed it though. He blessed Haggai because Sarah put her out and, and the Haggai started crying out to the Lord and God blessed uh, her son. See, God has to fix what we mess up. He gives us the opportunity to do the right thing, but we have two choices. See to obey him. Or be in unfaith. They chose to be in unfaith and God fixed it and then He put them back in faith again. So, our faith is from Him. Sometimes we screw up when things don't look right before our eyes or before our ears. Things don't seem right. But have faith. Because God is unpredictable. He doesn't do everything the way that we think He'll do it. And He does it in His time and not in ours. I'm a prime example. I, I I said to God before, I don't know why people don't just obey you. You know it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> and I'll get, I'll get some sort of scripture in my head <laughs> about being patient and whatnot. Well, I'll start to repent. But still, you know it don't make no sense. Ain't that a pastor? Ain't that a prophet? Ain't that a teacher? Ain't that ain't they a part of you? How come they always going against you? <laughs> God is a patient God because I got a mouth on me. I bring it up quick. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Some ain't right. Some ain't right. Uh, they just ignored your command. You said for them to do X, Y, Z, and they ignoring you. Excuse me. <laughs> he knows I'm frustrated when I start doing that. Because normally I'll just pray about it. But when I start calling on him and going, excuse me. I got so frustrated, I want to yell at him. So rather than yell at the people, I start calling God, uh, hello, hello, can you hear me? Did you just see that? Hello, hello, did you? <laughs> All right, y'all, that's been it, you minutes. We got the altar call coming up after this. A uh, little bit of braille real quick, calculated risk. We're just getting started. Count it off like this. One, two, three. IV. Intelligent rhymes with original style. And we got Mr. James uh. Graham and Man Child. Uh. Yeah, you. It's you. Wanna know. Wanna know. The real deal. Yeah. Then here we uh. go. On the we got it. Cost. Being the amount of the cross. Being me don't amount to the loss. You see me know my fight on the flaws. To free me off of my own, I toss. Into the deep sea breathing. I'll be tossed. Inhaling a frost. The cold summer's the cost. A ceiling I'm lost with no compass of cause and effect But you pause to reflect for a moment Talk to respect the atonement I own it And walk these steps as a grown man With talk is a weapon that holds men I fought with this lesson with no hands Trying to know my savior it's a risk When your wrists are dying I 
whole nation, it's a mind over nations of millions. The face of our children, the chase for the safety and buildings that make it so yielding is never an option of willing to rather with ever it costs me. Ain't no time for Put it on the line like rhymes that we write With a pad and pen before we spit it on the mic Added up the pull and the push And got the information put into books I snuck into the library Till the bullets and shook it Arrayed hook, line, and sinking in Kids check it out and turn the pages Till they think again Believe it in and read it between the hash marks Convert it into cliff notes Accelerate the fast start I should pack the plan B Before you move past freedom And even start to understand me Telling you and your man freeze Before you weave that reason Into the fabric of the grand scheme Man, I'm steam All the competition at large Points of the heavens Identify who's in charge Far none Hard rocks The ladies with the hard done But behind the ears Are burning up with the R sun Call it what you want From big dreams to far flung It don't stop till the war's won It don't stop till the war's won Hey, DJ Idol Can I get an introduction? Yeah. Come on, man Let's do this I wanna rock right now Calculus. I counted the cost, the counted for the counterfeit when I encountered it. Stood my ground and the coward quit, cause he's powerless. So many challenges exist. Calculate the catalyst, cause and effect from catastrophic events. We gotta catapult past it, cast away doubt. It returns sevenfold, tell them get out. This is my temple, my house, take control of your body. Reject the venom, yo, they fucking out. Better grab the insect repellent, my rebellion. Rocking the bells from Belgium to Bella Bella to Boston and back to Bellingham. The mailman playing my Roll. No more John Stockton, I'm calm alone, slamming it home on microphones. I'm in the zone, lyrics and poems flow through my chromosomes and penetrate domes. I wanna rock right now, come on, I wanna rock right now. Yeah, it's been a long road, tripping by purpose, and I know, I know, I know that it's worth it. I wanna rock right now, come on, I wanna rock right now. Yeah, I added it up and I counted the cost to understand the risk. I'm gonna carry my cross. Like this, like do it like this. Before you make your move, come on, do it like this, like do it like this. Before you make a move, calculate the risk. All right, calculate the risk. To be without Jesus is to go straight to hell. Ain't no guarantee they're gonna come get you the way you came and got me. Someone else took my life. That's the reason why. I, you know what? I think it was my father praying. I think it was other people praying, but. I told you people like to practice, they were practicing witchcraft. Folks have been trying to practice witchcraft on me for a long time, but this particular person took my life. And Jesus like, uh-uh! So the risk of being without Jesus is truly not worth it. It's good if people are praying for you, but when you get offered the free gift of salvation through Christ Jesus, receive it. Receive it now because I was, I received mercy is what I received. There's no way around it. I received mercy. I should have been in hell. It was rightfully hell was rightfully mine. Because I didn't accept Jesus Christ into my heart. But he showed me mercy. So, I get up every morning to glorify God, to offer you salvation. So, here it is, free for you. Let's do it together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. 
Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water.